Hi everyone, it's Ayana, your health coach and the founder of Thrive and Be Whole. Hello, happy International Women's Day. You see, I got all festive for you with the hearts uh, the, and the smiley face hearts on Facebook. That's a cool filter. I tried to go live a minute ago, but I've been having some issue with my connection. So it's been a little spotty. So forgive me, I'm starting over again. Now, um, as I mentioned before on the last video, this video is gonna be all about the three biggest challenges that get in the way of our eating and eating healthy foods that we want to eat, that we need to eat in order to feel at our best and also to you know hit our weight goals and, and good health goals. And so these are actually the three biggest challenges that I've experienced myself personally, but that so many of my clients also say that they experience too. I cannot tell you how many women and men alike have said that these are the biggest th three things that come up for them. It comes up time and time again. Hi, thanks for watching, okay? And so one of the things, if you don't know who I am, here's a little quick info about who I am. I'm a health coach and I support women who are struggling with weight loss and who are really stuck and feel caught up in that diet culture. I help support them with being able to f create a, a fun and loving and joyful relationship with food, with exercise and with their body so that they can stay motivated and lose weight and keep it off. So this is, you know, I love giving tips on Sundays about how exactly to do that. And because um, this is this is not only Women's Month, but this is Joyful Eating Month in my Facebook group. So this is a really this really ties in with all of that. On Monday, we're going to be kicking it off. So if you would like to join us, it's a free Facebook group. The name of the Facebook group is in the description. It's Healthy Living Should Be Fun. OK, you're definitely going to want to join that because we're, I'm going to be giving you tips for how to, like right now we only have a sliver of time together right but in the group we're going to go into in depth into the biggest eating struggles and how with concrete actions that you can overcome them so click i'm um, sorry so check out the um the description to see what the name of the group is healthy living should be fun so you can join that okay and without further ado let's dive on into these tips okay oh one more thing before we do go ahead and like this video and share it with people who you know can benefit from this information because we all can I benefited from it too, okay? All right, and let my happy faces, my nat my uh, Women's Day faces uh, give you a little something to smile at. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about why this is important. So the reason why we have to talk about uh, the struggles with eating are because, number one, so many of us are trying to get healthy. You know, we live in a society that is that is largely, you know, dealing with weight issues and dealing with is struggling with how to be able to maintain healthy habits and and for many of us lose weight as I, that was also my goal not that long ago and i know firsthand that it's a big struggle you know what we eat we've we've all developed these habits over a lifetime that can be extremely hard to switch up or change so we have to discuss this but not only that we all deserve peace okay no shock <laughs> we eat several times a day right three to five or six times a day we're eating maybe a little bit more seven maybe if you're eating snacks and all that and it is something that we deal with on a regular basis so if you are struggling with what to eat you know imagine spending three to seven times a day agonizing over it you know it's something we all deserve to have peace we all deserve to be healthy we deserve to not have to be in this chaos time and time again okay so so this is designed to kind of help eliminate some of that chaos and eliminate, you know, and just kind of target the different things that get in our way. Okay. So the first thing that comes up is that the first issue that we have is when we struggle with food, right? When we have battles with our food. And if you don't know what I mean by that, oh, I always had battles. Okay. So battles over what to eat, right? Knowing that you should be eating something healthier, but you're struggling. <laughs> you really want to eat that sugar. You really want to eat the, 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 Coffee. Okay. Like I actually, um, have a couple of clients who told me like that, that they're, I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but we all agreed that the only way we can enjoy coffee is when it's sugared to death or, you know, uh, you know, you put a creamer in it to death. It's barely coffee anymore. You know, so many of us struggle with what to eat. So many of us struggle with cravings. We feel addicted to certain foods. We have a hard time saying no to them. We also struggle with, um, with, again, we also struggle with, just kind of feeling like I want to be able to eat to eat healthy food, but I also don't want to have to say no or restrict myself all the, all the time. I don't want to feel like I constantly have to give up all the foods that I love, right? And really what we want to be able to do is, you know, we should not have to live in restriction. 
restriction sucks, okay? And it actually is not proven to work, but restriction is one of those number one things that we attempt to do, but it fails miserably time and time again. And one of the things that we're gonna be talking about in depth this month, so if you join that Facebook group, um, it's free to join again. We're gonna be going in depth about how to actually enjoy your food and have fun with it. And from for my perspective, the way that I support my clients and the way that I supported myself was that I did not eliminate foods. Instead, I worked on having fun with my food, reframing the relationship I had with food from one of lack and one of restriction and one of the things like all of the things I had to avoid and could not eat to one of, I get to eat these delicious, healthy foods. And I also get to indulge sometimes in the foods that make me happy. I get to eat those um, non-healthy foods in moderation. And shockingly, that system of balance really worked out really well, okay? But it can be confusing about how to do that. You know, just how much is enough, you know? <laughs> um, you know, especially if, if, if you're a person like me who struggles with cravings, it might feel really difficult to kind of figure out that balance. So you should definitely check out the group because we're gonna be going into detail on all of that, okay? And then the other thing, the biggest, another big challenge that comes up is not reflecting on how we eat, okay? So the second challenge that I hear about all the time how we are eating is just as important as what we're eating, okay? So when we're not eating, um, you know, when we're going through the day again, not eating enough food, not eating enough calories, not, you know, restricting ourselves and canceling out meals, this is something that can have major consequences, right? Or on the flip side, if you're just kind of programmed to eat at a certain time every day because that's when your your lunch bell or your dinner bell goes off, but you're not really hungry, okay? Or like me, you know, when you are, um, when you are, one of the things that I used to do all the time was I used to not eat breakfast and I used to not really eat snacks. And then I would be starving around lunchtime and starving around dinner time. And I used to feel like that was the mark of, of some type of pride, you know, it, like, oh, wow, I have so much willpower, but it's actually not that great. <laughs> and it actually sabotages your efforts. Okay. So we're going to be exploring that in, in the Facebook group in, in greater detail about how all these things that we think that we're doing are actually sabotaging our efforts. And then also when we're talking about how we're eating, another big challenge that comes up for people too is just in what emotions are coming up for us when we're eating certain foods. So have you developed patterns? Has eating become a crutch or a tool to help you cope with stress, to help you cope with the struggles of your life? Okay, this was me. I know this intimately and I help my clients with it all the time. So again, we're going to be exploring. So one of the things that you actually want to do, and we'll be exploring how to do this in greater depth in the group, but you really want to be exploring, you know, listening to your body, okay, and getting back in touch with how to do that. And if that was a struggle for you, like it was for me, then again, you're going to want to join the group, go into the, um, the Healthy Living Should Be Fun Facebook group, because we're going to be going into detail about how to listen to your body. If you have fallen out of sync with what that looks like, okay, because so many of us have, so many of us have struggled, we've built up a lifetime of habits, as I said before, that have left us out of touch with what our body really wants and needs. And so we're going to be spending time in that group reconnecting, okay, and finding the way to really listen to your body and what your body needs. And the benefit is, is that the, the great thing about that is that you don't have to be starving yourself in order to be healthy, you know, and in fact, you don't want to. And when you listen to your body, it makes everything way better. I was able to lose 50 pounds while not feeling hungry. And we can all have that, okay? And then finally, the third thing, the, the third issue that comes up for people a lot, a big struggle is, you know, not really reflecting on why we've developed the habits that we have. Okay, so again, you know, how many of us are emotional eaters? How many of us are stress eaters? And again, me, 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 right? But so many of us don't really reflect deeply on where, where these things come from. And it takes some work. It takes some time to really figure out where these things are coming from. But once we do, it is life changing. Because when I reflected and, and really figured out, you know, where it was that my eating habits were coming from, it made me so much more aware. And so when I was going towards a piece of food, there was a period, you know, and even now to this day, I'm able to say to myself, am I eating that because I'm actually hungry and want the, and need the energy and need the nutrients? Or am I eating this because this is my crutch? Am I going after this food because this is the habit that I've developed to cope with my stress? And so when you are able to identify that, it, it's just a light bulb goes off and it allows you to make better choices in a way that is so empowering and life-changing and changed my life. So again, one of the things, so I, I want to say to you, because I have limited time here, but I do want to, again, invite you 
to join the Facebook group. And the name for it is in the description. It's Healthy Living Should Be Fun. You should search for it, you know, um, and, and find it and request to join because starting on Monday, we are going to be going in depth for the rest of the month about these exact issues and how to overcome them. And if you know that this, this is something that you've struggled with for a long time and you really are just like overwhelmed and you don't even know where to begin, you should definitely schedule a breakthrough session with me. This is a free session that is all about you. <laughs> you know, so many times we spend so much of our lives focused on other people, we forget to focus on ourselves. I want to invite you to focus on you, okay? Focus on you. If you've developed a lifetime of, of off-the-wall eating habits, don't worry. I did too. And if I could lose 50 pounds, we all can. Trust me. Because I made all of these eating mistakes and more. And I was so confused. But health coaching is a thing that helped me. And one session gave me way more clarity. The first session, like a free session with a health coach, gave me way more clarity than I, than I could have ever expected. So... Go to the link in the description, thriveandbehold.com slash apply so that you can also sign up with me for that free breakthrough session. There's no pressure to join. There's no pressure to sign on with me, but it will give you clarity about where it is you really want to go and be in your health journey. What's really slowing you down from doing that, you know, from your habits to your mindset and then what you can do about it, a concrete plan. Okay. So with that said, those are the two things I want you to do. And finally, oh, and also too, if you know anyone of anyone who benefits, who could benefit from this wisdom or joining the Facebook group, share this information with them. All right. Take care all. Bye.